Okay, Kipsters, welcome back. We are multiplying fractions. The rule for multiplying fractions is A over B times C over D equals A times C all over B times D. So basically in words, all you're doing is multiplying the numerators across and then putting that over the denominators across. Okay? All right, let's apply this to a special case now. We have 3 fifths times 10 over 12. Now, Kipsters, whenever we're multiplying by um, fractions, we can cross-cancel. And cross-cancel simply means pulling out a common factor that the fractions have across, okay? So let's first do 3 and 12. Out of 3 and 12, I see that I can pull out a common factor of 3 from both of these numbers. So 3 divided by 3 gives me 1, and 12 divided by 3 gives me 4. If I'm looking at 1 and 4, the only other common factor they have is 1. So I'm not going to bother with that because I'll get the same response, 1 and 4. Let me check to see if I can cross-cancel on 5 and 10. Let's see, 5 and 10. Um, they don't both end in 0, so I can't find 10 as a common factor. But they do both end in 0 and 5, so 5 would be a common factor. 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 10 divided by 5 is 2. Looking at these numbers, I see that only 1 can be a common factor. So I'm rewriting this as 1 over 1 times 2 over 4. And I'm looking at 2 over 4, and I can um, pull out a common factor right there, which is 2 over 2. So, I mean 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. Leaving me with 1 times 1, which is 1 all over 1 times 2, which is 2. I'm looking at this answer right here, noticing that the only common factor they have is 1 in 1 and 2, and it takes two pieces to make a whole. I don't even have two pieces. My answer is complete. The answer is 1 half. Next, I'm going to apply the same rule to multiplying fractions. What I'm going to do is multiply my whole number times my denominator. I get 4 plus 1 is 5 all over 2 times 5 times 1, which is 5, plus 3, which is 8, all over 5. So I have 5 over 2 times 8 over 5. I'm going to check now to see if I can cross-cancel because I am multiplying fractions. 5 and 5. Hmm. Yes, they have the common factor of 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 5 divided by 5 is 1. I can't pull out another common factor other than 1, so let me move on. 2 and 8. Hmm. Yes, they're both divisible by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. Therefore, I have now 1 over 1 times 4 over 1. And when I multiply across, 1 times 4, I get 4, all over 1 times 1, which is 1. My denominator tells me how many pieces it takes to make a whole. It takes one here. Um, I actually have four. So I do have enough to make a whole. So I'm going to change it into a mixed number if I can. If not, it's just going to be a whole number. One goes into four, four times. Four times one is four. I have a remainder of zero. So what this is telling me is I have four holes as evidenced by that 4 on the top, but I don't have any num I don't have any numerators. So my only answer is 4 holes, and that's the answer.